As you go into the machine, you'll relax more and more. Although the MRI scanner was completely deactivated, we needed the kids to believe it was fully functional. So Jay played a series of realistic sound effects to signify that the machine was working, while Dr. Vessier planted the suggestion that it would help the patient heal. You might notice some unusual feelings, perhaps a tingling. This would allow their subconscious minds to harness the power of their brains to heal themselves. For people with migraines, it's often in the front or the back part of the head, but it could also be like a feeling like outside the head. So I'm not sure what it's going to be like for you. We'll find out afterwards. So we'll now slide you in. Cool, it's like a roller coaster. I love roller coasters. The deeper you go in, the more you'll relax. OK, I want to go all the way deep. I feel yeah. more stronger beeps. I know. This is because you're already at level three. You might notice a deeper feeling of relaxation. Yes, yes. I can feel it. So when you heard the, f the first set of beeps and the second set of beeps, did you notice feeling them in different parts of your body? Well, the first time I went in the machine, I kind of felt it here. When I was in the machine, I felt like I was going like backwards and forwards. OK, that's very good. That's a very good sign. You might have noticed how you were yawning. Mm -hmm. I'm asleep. That's great. So how do you feel? Amazing. <laughs> oh, nice. Mindfield provided the Raz Lab with Octopus by Joy smartwatches. Lefty rules. They were specially programmed to remind the children in between visits that their brain was healing itself. In six weeks, we would return to the lab to check in on their progress. For several weeks, the children had undergone sessions in the sham scanner at McGill University. Your body continues to relax as we keep unleashing this healing energy. Each time, they were reminded that through concentration and relaxation, they were helping heal their own brains. Why do you think you're, you're better? I'm guessing it's the machine. Yeah, what about it? Uh, I'm not really sure how it works. She seems less anxious. Mm. She's more positive overall. I was hoping for this. It's wonderful more to, than see. Nice to see her going. Yeah. <laughs> well, good work. And as for Nicholas and his migraine headaches. Hey. Hi. It's good to see you again, Nicholas. Tell me about the procedure and how you felt afterwards. It accomplished all the things that I wanted it to. And I haven't had a migraine at all. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And concentration is a big thing that helped. Both Malaya and Nicholas attribute their improvements to the sham scanner. They believed it was working for them, and indeed it did. So how did Nathan, who suffered from ADHD and impulse control disorder, fare over the last six weeks? We noticed a difference in Nathan immediately after the first session. The entire summer we had him off the medicine, and he did great. The children's results are encouraging and a powerful sign of how effective suggestions and our willingness to believe them can be. She told me, said, Grandma, God told me for you to bring me to Apostle so that I could pray for her because I put anointing oil on her and her tongue twisted. She has having a hard time speak and she manifested like a snake's um, sort of. So I told God, I don't know where to go. And she said, God said to bring me to Apostle to pray for me. So I said in the name of Jesus. Woo! Stand right here next to your friend. Hallelujah. Oh. <laughs> God bless you, honey. So your, your, your tongue was, have, was churned and it was hard to speak? Yeah? God wants to free you right now, honey. At the age of three and four, I didn't know about the authority or the power of God. Um, we were all sitting down, me and my daughters, and something entered the baby. And, she, and we knew it was a foul spirit. 
I command every mute spirit and every spirit that entered her mouth and her tongue, keeping her from speaking well, must leave now in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Did you feel something, honey? I feel it coming out. is so proud of you and he loves you so much hon he's freeing you right now i break every generational curse off of her and i detach her from everything she's renounced i detach her from all that mom renounced and i detach her from every demonic spirit and generational curse that came through her biological parents i break every curse of witchcraft off of her and i command on three every spirit attached every orphan spirit you all must leave in jesus name one Two, three. Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. God wants to free you. Do you want to, you want our list to renounce? I renounce bad thoughts. I renounce pornography. I renounce witchcraft. I renounce. Suicidal thoughts, I renounce anxiety, I renounce depression, I renounce PTSD, I renounce anything that happened in my family past, I renounce it. I renounce thinking about killing myself, I renounce telling my mom bad thoughts, telling my mom evil stuff, I renounce being good to my father, I renounce. I detach you from all you've renounced, and I command on three every spirit attached, every spirit of suicide, every spirit of death must go in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. you free, hun, and he loves you so much. You're free. He's so
pushed off that that's some of the pawn game. Hallelujah. Jesus is setting you free. He's so proud of you and he's delivering you now. I break every generational curse off of you both now in Jesus' name. I break every curse of witchcraft that was sent upon them both now. And I detach you from what you've renounced. On three, every spirit attached must leave them both now in Jesus' name. One, two, three. I'm here in Ottawa, Canada right now, and there is a precious little girl, 11 years old. She's been battling a brain tumor since she was two. Her name's Katie, and her dad reached out to us and said that it was her biggest dream to meet me. Uh, so I came in one night and I was like, Dad, can for my 16th birthday, I don't want a car. Can we go, can we go to LA to see Apostle Catherine? I would love to pray for you, Katie. I renounce praying to Mary. I renounce uh, believing in healing rocks and um, things. I renounce skin problems and stomach problems. Oh, uh, and acid reflux gets in my tumors. Detach you all now from everything you have renounced in Jesus' name. I command on three, every spirit attached, every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of cancer, every spirit of diabetes, every spirit of witchcraft must leave this whole family now. Every sickness in this body must go on three in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Out now. I declare complete healing in this body from head to toe. And that is my throne. <laughs> Exalted to Jesus. Exalted to Jesus. I'm sorry, my husband, I'm sorry, my husband, I'm sorry, my husband, I'm sorry, my husband, I'm Ik kan de gezin zitten, Jezus. 